is just after 3.30 a.m. in the morning, but it's gonna be worth it because today I'm waking up to photograph a partial solar eclipse. If I lived in Northern Ontario, it would be an annular solar eclipse. I could see that ring of fire. So not only is this a partial solar eclipse, but it's happening as the sun is rising, just over the horizon. I'm just lucky to be able to see this event at all. There's a lot of parts of the world that don't get to see it. So you're probably familiar with a total solar eclipse where the moon completely covers up the sun. This one is different. This one's an annular solar eclipse. So there are places that will see that ring of fire. And that's simply because the moon is farther away in its orbit than it is during a total solar eclipse. So it is an annular eclipse, but it will be a partial for me being from my location here in Southern Ontario. And again, it will be at that really extreme hour of 5.30 a.m. in the morning. So I'm off to get to a place with a really low horizon to the east where I can actually get a photo and hopefully a video of this partial solar eclipse as it's happening. But timing is everything and I need to find a really great spot for this. So this is what I'm using for the photo here. I need to be quick because there's some other people coming in trying to do the same thing. It's a Canon 400 millimeter f5.6 lens. I'm gonna try and shoot a shot without a solar filter, which I don't recommend just as it's coming up above the horizon, just to get that color and a more natural look. I did bring a solar filter as well that I'll put in front of the camera lens to safely take a picture of the eclipse as it's happening. So this is pretty well perfect here. We do have some low clouds, as I said, which look really pretty for a sunrise, but the question is whether it's going to block the disc of the sun or just kind of filter it out. So I mentioned shooting unfiltered. Never shoot the sun without a solar filter. You'll damage the camera sensor and certainly don't look at the sun. I'm going to attempt it just as it's cresting the horizon when there's a lot of atmosphere and hopefully a thin layer of clouds in front of it to kind of diffuse it. Uh, but after that, the solar filter is going on, which is an approved solar filter, and we can actually watch the moon passing in front of the sun. So I'm really, really excited right now. 